The question is, is this the ultimate Mai Tai? Quite some time ago, I stumbled across ultimatemaitai.com, which is owned by Kevin Crossman. And this is his personal ultimate Mai Tai recipe. And the reason I wanted to try it so badly is because the guy loves Mai Tais. He has tried thousands over the years. He's even got a custom Mai Tai number plate. He has a yearly top 10 list of the best Mai Tai from different venues around the US. He's been doing it since about 2018, 2019. And this particular one was the winner of 2019 and the 2020 competition. And this particular rum is the secret. Let's find out if this is the ultimate Mai Tai. So many people say that the Mai Tai is the perfect vehicle for trying different rums or for blending multiple rums into a drink. So this recipe calls for four different rums. Now, don't be too intimidated. This obviously is gonna cost a little bit of money if you go out and buy all four bottles at once. You can always add a couple and then add more later down the track. And if you don't wanna blend all four rums, you can blend a three, two, or even if you want to, you can just still follow this recipe. If I recommended one rum, I'd recommend Appleton 12 to use in your Mai Tais. This recipe is a traditional 1944 uh, Tradevic Mai Tai. It's a classic recipe. It's stood the test of time because it's it's excellent. And it's essentially rum, orange liqueur, orgette, a little bit of demerara syrup, and fresh lime juice. Simple, five ingredients. So the four rums in front of me, I've got Plantation OFTD, which just sits at a whopping 69%. On the nose, it's like sweet, uh, bitter molasses, chocolatey, toffee notes to it. It's absolutely delicious, but it will knock your socks off. And the OFTD is a blend of rums from Guyana, Barbados, and Jamaica. Next, we have the Smith & Cross, which is a 100% pot still Jamaican rum. Now this is like, again, this is, sits really high. It's 57%, so it's not as high as the OFTD, but it is pretty boozy, it's potent. It's got hogo, it's funky, overripe banana, uh, that typical pot stilled Jamaican style rum. Uh, then you got the Zamaka uh, by Plantation, which is created, I believe, to recreate Jamaican rums of the yesteryear. Uh, it's not as funky as this one, but it does sit a little bit lower in the ABV. Uh, it's a little bit drier. Uh, and then you've got the Appleton 12 and that exhibits like toffee, vanilla, um, dark cocoa kind of notes to it. So this blend of rums is gonna make a really complex Mai Tai. And as I said, if you don't have all four, use a couple, use one to start with and then build on your rum collection if you want to. And of course, if you like Mai Tais. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend out equal portions, equal measures. Uh, I'm gonna, Start by doing 150 mil. I really hope that this is the best blend of rums for a Mai Tai because I'm doing a full full bottle. Well, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to drink a lot of Mai Tais. That's not really that bad. That's the, the worst case scenario, I guess. So 150 mil, five ounces of Plantation OFTD. Likewise with the Smith & Cross. and it'll nearly fill the bottle. And Plantation Zamaka. The smell of these rums is insane. Overripe banana, tropical fruits, toffee, raisin characteristics. Now that I've bottled the blend of rums, let's make a Mai Tai. Measure two ounces of rum, half ounce of orange liqueur, half an ounce of orja, quarter ounce of demerara syrup, and the juice of one lime, which is one ounce. Don't forget to save your spent lime for the gunch. Add ice to your cocktail shaker and shake briefly. You don't need to shake for the typical 10 to 12 seconds, a little bit shorter because we're serving this drink over ice. So it's gonna get the drink really cold and add dilution when it's in the glass as well. Strain it over fresh ice. Mai Tais work best with a straw. This particular one is from surfsidesips.com. You can always use the coupon code STB20 to get 20% off your order. Borosilic glass straws, these are amazing. I've used them on the channel plenty of times. Garnish with a nice healthy piece of mint and your spent lime wheel. Is this the ultimate Mai Tai? Let's find out. This is an excellent Mai Tai. Beautiful balance of flavors. Get those rich tropical notes, banana, toffee, 
Works really well with the, uh, the Armand, the Orgette. This really is a Mai Tai for Mai Tai lovers, if that makes sense. Like, because you've got the complexity and those bold Jamaican rums, I feel like you really need to like rums and need to like tropical drinks and Mai Tais in order to really appreciate this. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Mai Tai recipe is, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.